Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Imani here. So today we're going to be jumping into how I take off my makeup in the nighttime and also I'm going to show you guys some of the products that I've been using and yeah we're just going to chit chat a little bit. I'm going to show you how I do it to remove everything from my face. I have another nighttime skincare routine on my channel that I think is still amazing, still valid. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at that video, you definitely can. Um, this one I would say is a bit more updated, so a routine that I've been using probably since last September and it's been working really, really well for me. The moisturizing products I'm going to show you, I got them like three weeks ago and I've been using them consistently so I feel confident in sharing my thoughts with you. If this is your first time watching La Beat, welcome. And if this is not your first time, you already know what it is. Okay. So we're going to start with cleansing and cleansing. It's a triple cleanse. All right, so get ready for it. So the first step of taking my makeup off is using the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Removes makeup, even waterproof mascara, plus cleanses, plus refreshes. So I use the one with the blue top and I use a very big cotton pad. I drench it in it and I wipe it all over my face. Then step number two is using the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. And this is J Beauty. This is a Japanese brand. And you just have to dispense it into your hands and gently massage your face for 30 to 40 seconds and then rinse thoroughly. What I like about this is when you add water, it turns into like a milk. So then you can just rinse it off. And then lastly, I use the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Foaming Gel Cleanser. This is all in one rinse off. It's with the pink cap. This is for all skin types, even sensitive skin. So it gently foams to remove makeup, cleanses, and refreshes. Then we're here with really soft, smooth skin. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use a toner tonight. We did enough cleansing we did enough exfoliating of our skin maybe in the morning I would use my toner but the next thing that I do is my moisturizer and today I want to talk to you about the Peter Thomas Roth green relief therapeutic sleep cream skin protectant okay this is it right here it has cannabis sativa seed oil 2% retinoid complex 2% topical melatonin, 5% colloidal oatmeal, and it's supposed to be a renewing night moisturizer. So Peter Thomas Roth sent this along with the Green Relief Calming Face Oil, which has 21% calming complex with cannabis sativa seed oil, bisabolol, ginger root extract, plant seed oil, cucumber seed oil, and vitamin E nourishing elixir which helps to reduce the look of redness, irritation, and flaky skin. So, I've been having very dry skin this winter. You may not be able to see it, but around my mouth has been getting very dry. My skin in general has been very, very dry this winter. Usually, I don't get oily in the winter. I'm not dry, per se. But this year, I've been very, very dry. And I don't think that I've been over-exfoliating my skin or you know, over cleansing my skin. I don't think I've been doing that. So I'm not really sure why I'm getting so dry. But I think that this product has actually been working really well for me. Now, in terms of redness, I don't really get that. I can't test that claim. But in terms of smoothening and softening your skin, yes, I can say that this definitely does that. So when you open it up, it has a pump right there. And I think that that is so cool. You're not putting your hand into the product. You're just pumping it out. And I like to take two pumps. And it's this green gel-like formula. And I place it all over my skin. I must say, one con is that I don't like the smell of this product. Um, the smell doesn't stay for long, but I love fragrance in skincare. I know that might be the best because fragrance are a very big cause of irritation to skin, but fragrance doesn't usually irritate my skin. 
and let me tell you I appreciate fragrance so much in skincare I don't know why I'm just all about the scents I don't know what it is like why I love fragrance so much in skincare but I think it puts me into like a mood and especially for nighttime routine like I like to get into that very calming and relaxing mood and the smell of this does not get me into that mood however the scent dissipates after a while so you know it's not it's not that bad like it doesn't stay for long so I don't mind it but I don't love it you know and then I like to go in with the calming oil just to seal that and I usually do just little drops not too much um, I put on too much of this ones and my face was a bit too greasy the calming oil also doesn't have a good scent I think the scent of this is even stronger than the the cream I like to bring it down on my neck as well I've been really making sure not to neglect my neck these days like our necks need love too okay and then I just finished up with my bright beauty agave lip mask that's the last part of this routine so I just wanted to show you a little closer what my skin looks like it's looking pretty good y'all so that's pretty much it and now it's time for bed yeah so I really like the combination of these two I only use them in the nighttime I've been seeing very very nice results my skin is super smooth when I wake up in the morning it feels just so smooth so soft and it's not greasy usually when I use my products in the nighttime I do wake up sometimes and my face is just so greasy but this does not do that when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to check in with you guys just to show you what my skin is looking like, right? To give you the full experience of this Peter Thomas Roth. So thank you to Peter Thomas Roth for sending this to me. I really, really do enjoy it. I love how it makes my skin feel. One con, I don't like how it smells. That's about it. Other than that, I really like it. I'm going to put links in the description bar where you can get it. It's exclusively at Sephora. So I'm going to put those links in the description bar below along with the prices. So if you guys want to check it out, you definitely can. And I hope that this was helpful. Uh, this is how I get every drop of makeup off of my skin. I'm loving the Garnier products. I'm loving this DHC oil. So I only showed you things in this video that I genuinely use all the time to take my makeup off and that have been working for me for a couple months like I started to use the micellar water I think last September along with the cleanser I don't know if you guys remember I got a box from influencer and those two products were in there and I started to use it and I was like wow this is amazing so then when I went to California I even did a story where I took off my makeup with these same products um, but you know everybody doesn't follow me on Instagram so I was like you know what let me make a dedicated video to really show how I get all my makeup off and you may say that the triple cleansing is a bit much and it could be stripping to your skin how I feel about that is I wear a lot of makeup so I would prefer to strip my skin and then replenish it with really good ingredients rather than to have the makeup clog my pores all right let me stop rambling on about it i'm gonna insert the clip now of the next morning so yeah take a look at it hi guys so i just woke up and this is how my skin is looking i hope you enjoyed this video i love bringing skincare to you guys you know that you can follow me on my social media platforms it's little beat on instagram and on snapchat and the beat inc on facebook and twitter don't forget to subscribe to my channel and without further ado thank you so much for watching and have a great night guys bye